Hey guys, and we are back and we got a galleon today. Galleons are incredible. We are back in Maya Beach Arena. The, today the weather is not very forgiving. We've got some overcast clouds, which I despise because it doesn't make the viewing look as beautiful, even though this, bo this boat is superb. So that being said, back to the galleon. We have the galleon 650 this time, guys. If you are an avid watcher of my videos, we have done two other galleons in the past. We've done a galleon 640 fly and a Gallon 510 uh, Sky Deck, which is the, this is the big brother of the Sky Deck 510, okay? So anyway, uh, I'll be telling you all about it along the way, so let's get this going. We'll try to keep this, uh, this video to a minimum. It's called Here and Now, it's a 2019 Gallion 650 Sky Deck, okay? So let's get on right here in this enormous, enormous uh, off swim platform, eh? Look at this, beautiful, uh, I believe this is uh, entry to the crew quarters and it is a monster of a girl, okay? We're looking at 68 feet in length of roll, even though it's a 650. Total length is, is uh, 68 feet in length of roll. We have drop down stairs. So this, once this sinks down, the stairs automatically fold out and gives easy access in and out of the water. Uh, and wow, galleons are, no, they're also Polish manufactured and they are uh, brilliant. Okay, so let's, let's keep, keep this going. Dimitri, jump on. Okay, moving on up and <laughs> look at this. Look at the seating area. This is enormous. This, uh, this reminds me truly of the Galleon 650 fly. Look at that. I mean, this can put all 13 of the, char of the, of the passengers here, super comfortable. And, uh, and there's also back here, there's an electric sunshade. Okay, so this folds out if you want extra um, shade, but <laughs> this is a very, long and uh, overhang so even without the sunshade we get tons and tons of shade very large table and then we have of course the interior and we have the bulwark so this bulwark just like the other um, galleons this is obviously foldable okay and this converts the beam this current beam is 16 feet in length overall with this folded out it turns to a beach club mode I'll, I'll pop in a video as well because we're not gonna actually activate this at this current moment because it's currently docked. But this folds out and converts the beam to 23 feet in length overall. So converted from 16 to 23. So once that's opened, you have tons and tons of space. Okay, that being said, let's check out the, let's check out the interior and then the flybridge, which I love, and then the bow. Okay, so let's jump inside. Okay, before we do that, we have, of course, a nice little grill station right out here in the cockpit. We have a nice, Okay, that's not, that's not like a fridge. The, fr the ice maker is right here. And then we have the, just a storage space over here as well. Cool, cool. So let's get inside. Now, welcome to luxury, guys. Welcome to luxury at its finest. We have, of course, a galley aft and a saloon forward. Now, look at this. Beautiful marble countertops. And it is the perfect entertainment area. Sink has all the... Uh, you know all the appliances needed. We have a stove top, we have a convection oven over here, and then of course I'm sure they have discreet. Di is this is a dishwasher. Let's see. No, this is the fridge, and then yeah, this is the dishwasher. So everything is discreet and beautiful, and uh, and of course uh, the beauty of these boats. Once again, once these wings fold out, you can slide this open. So once we slide this open. Uh, we can fold out those wings, add those bar stools, and create a nice little uh, extended bar area here as well. So beautiful, just like the 510. Let me carefully close that. Okay, and then on the other side, of course, it's uh, pretty much the same. Folds out, this opens up, and then obviously this bar area uh, can fold open, and you have also that beautiful view as well as having a nice seating area. So wonderful. Now moving forward, now look at these windows. These are floor to ceiling windows. This is basically encased in glass and it is incredible, incredible. Look at this, very high ceilings, extreme comfort, everything, all the beautiful velvet touch everywhere. This boat is tip top condition and kept in pristine condition. Of course, these are uh, telescope um, legs on this table so that can drop if you want to create a nice uh, uh, sleeping area as well, even though this has three cabins and there's abundance of seating. Uh, moving forward to 
very luxurious, covered in leather, uh, you know, lower console uh, seating, all the latest technology. And there's even, look at this nice open windows here. You can slide these open to get that fresh air. Beautiful. And then also another amazing, uh, which I can't open currently because obviously we have the outside um, covering. This slides open and then we have complete open uh, access to the front bow, which makes this whole boat flows beautifully and easily. And ev everything is encased in glass here as well. We have um, skylights and oh, I've lost my breath speaking on spot. Let's go check out the accommodation. Uh, here forward, we have the VIP cabin. Oh, this carpeting is so comfortable. Uh, look at this, huh? We're talking about luxury. Everything about her is pristine. Wow, damn. Okay, and then we have, of course, the ensuite right over here. Smelling beautiful. Look how beautiful that, uh, that mosaic features over there little mini rainfall shower and everything well compared to the 510 no offense the 510 sky deck which is beautiful as well this one really takes the cake what's in here i think this is more storage Damn. okay let's check out the rest so we've seen one cabin so far and then the other two cabins are right over here wow these <laughs> this carpeting is so so luxurious so straight ahead i think this is the day head as well as an ensuite so we have a nice comfortable shower toilet sink and then once we close this off i believe this is yeah this is also the ensuite to the guest cabin two adult size singles side by side you know, everything is <laughs> as white velvet you know, to maintain needs quite some work. And then we obviously have, this is a, I think this is the, this should be co considered the master, but this is, I believe, just a guest cabin as well. So we have two guest cabins and one VIP, which you saw earlier, which should be the master in this regard. Okay, so lovely large screen TV, and then a very, very comfortable toilet over here and a nice shower, just like the previous. Yeah, this is outstanding. Okay, let's check out the outside. Okay, so we have two more stops to go. Flybridge next and then the bow. Okay, let's make our way up. Okay, now we get to this beautiful flybridge. Okay, so this is a bit smaller than usual and the reason being is that this is a sports bridge whereas the six, uh, 640 fly which we did that's a full-on fly bridge with extended fly bridge this is a sports bridge uh, in a sense so it's more like a sporty feel to it the cool thing about this is that it's convertible this obviously can can fold all the way uh, forward uh, which obviously exposes the lower console currently it's anchor, it's stopped at this level uh, these seats can be folded upwards as you can see for the front console and then the cool thing about this is that apart from having this great u-shaped seating area there is this carbon fiber hardtop from here as you can see and here that basically covers the entire upper deck and once you fold down this bimini from a distance this looks like an express cruiser so that's the cool thing about this particular boat whereas a 640 fly is a full-on flybridge that being said enough about that let's keep this going it's incredible and let's check out the bow okay the last stop is the bow i hope that music isn't going to get copyrighted because <laughs> that'll be really unfortunate now look here look at this glass wow it's a bit tight <laughs> this is a bit tight but keep the, keep in mind once this is dark this opens up and you have plentiful amount of space uh, of course with this opening up there are handrails to fit over here as you can see there are compartments and there's a there's obviously railing that comes with it so there's a, a sense of protection now look at this window this is oh well over here Dimitri this is floor to ceiling this is pure glass I mean galleons and new marines 
personally are like my favorite but uh yeah so here we are i'm gonna try to speak as loud as possible in order for the music not to get not to jump into the scene so we have here tons and tons of seating currently the sun pads have been taken off because there is a chance of rain we are in this tropical climate and things were getting packed up and as you can see here this is the covering that's uh that's encasing the glass whereas this opens up and then we have complete access to the interior as well so it's like basically a runway you can have for <laughs> for models doing a runway here if they like uh, of course all this area can be converted there are buttons on the side over here i think they're currently switched off you guys can see this goes down it goes up so as you can see all this can convert you can convert you can drop this all the way down and create full-on sun pads you can have seating it's a complete transformer in that regard and we're currently standing right above the master vip cabin i guess that's about it so i think we'll say goodbyes over there dimitri because the music is going to keep on annoying us i'll stand right here hopefully the music doesn't catch here and there you have it guys we have the 2019 galleon 650 um sky deck it is and look at this this glass is mesmerizing how beautiful this is it is uh you know, obviously one of the top boats in my portfolio and with uh with um you know it's pretty obvious why so i guess that's about it we currently mine beach arena this is available for charter very popular so uh you know obviously like and subscribe if you enjoy this video and as always stay safe and i'll catch you in the next one see ya